I never saw any Sikhs when I was growing up, because in Belgium there is not that many Sikhs around. My first exposure to anything related to Sikhi was through my first Kundalini Yoga class. In that class we did Mulmantar as part of our practice. Next days after that class I kept vibrating Mulmantar inside. I would wake up in the middle of the night and Mulmantar would be in my mind. And it was different from a, a song being stuck. It, it was vibrating, I was doing something inside. Second class, week later, Guru Mantar, so why Guru Simran? Same thing would happen. A couple of weeks later, she introduced us to Jabji Saib as practicing the Kundalini Yoga. So I started doing that as well, but I was still leading a completely different life. I wasn't religious, but I was really being touched by Gurbani without really knowing what tradition it even came from. So I had no idea it was from a Sikh tradition. Flew to Delhi, took a train to Amritsar because for some reason I wanted to be there. And I arrived in Amritsar on the eve of Guru Nanak Dev Ji's Guru Purup. And I walked down the steps onto the Pukarma and I put my head down and everything changed. I don't know how long I was with my head down. I was heavily crying when I lifted my head and it had felt that, that my skin stopped existing. I sort of merged into something. I, I don't know how to describe it. And I felt very lost with it because I didn't know where I was. And I was there with a friend and as I lifted my head up and they saw what was happening, the friend said, like, You've come home, this is where you belong. We spent about a week in Amritsar and I spent most of my time in Hanumandar Sahib. I spent a lot of time sitting on the rooftop trying to figure out what was happening. I knew that somehow this was home, but I never believed in reincarnation. I never believed in past lives. So I couldn't really make sense of what was going on, even though I had memories coming up of something before that. When everybody started doing the Rida Sahib, I felt very much that that was something I knew. And as we walked out in the evening in the shopping street, an old Sikh uncle, she came up to me, started talking in Punjabi, I had no idea what he was saying. He calls his son and they gave me a kara and said, it's written on your forehead, you're a Sikh of the Guru. And he called me into his shop, gave me every single English book on Sikhi that he had, made me pay for it, didn't give them. And that was the rest of my trip through India. We were there for a month and I just read all I could. Flew back home and about two months later I started wearing it a star. Looked for Sangat around me in Belgium. There was a good water side. And a friend of mine said, come to England with me to go to a Sikh retreat. You'll meet Sikhs and that's probably what you need. And I think with that retreat, things got really established for me. Coming back after three, four days, going back to Belgium, it was, okay, I need to move to England. I need to be around Sangat. I need to start giving up my life in Belgium and, and just really put Sikhi first. Maharaj blessed me with Amrit on Vaisakhi 2012, so it's been an ongoing journey since. Interesting journey, um, definitely not ended yet. <laughs>